Tesla full self-driving version 13.2.9 will try to drive straight through a parking lot barrier. It stopped in the middle of the intersection and now it's stuck. And so support has to intervene. The safety monitor can't really do that much. Hi everyone, JJ here. Welcome back. Well, Tesla Robotaxi is laughably behind Waymo still. While Waymo is planning to expand into multiple cities, including Dallas next year. Forbes has this story here. Waymo plans to widen Robotaxi lead over Tesla with 2026 Dallas launch. Now Robotaxi is planning to expand as well. Tesla's Robotaxi that is was so called Robotaxi into multiple cities. They're trying to get into San Francisco with a safety driver. They're going to have a driver in the seat. Waymo is way ahead of that, autonomously expanding at this point from city to city. And this is the self-driving tech company, which already operates in five major US urban markets. Well, Tesla has this robotaxi really testing in a small area of Austin. Waymo plans to launch a service in the Texas city, that's Dallas next year, when it's also expanding to Miami and Washington DC. So it's at the point where it's been autonomous for a long time. And now it's starting to expand from city to city seemingly quite quickly. So the article says Waymo, the leading US robo taxi operator, you can definitely say that, plans to launch the autonomous ride service in Dallas next year. Its second market in Texas, where it's partnering with Avis to keep its growing fleet of electric vehicles in service. So partnering with Avis, what's Avis doing? We'll find that out. And when Waymo says that they're doing it, they definitely will do it. Whereas Tesla says these things, Elon says these things, and sometimes they don't happen. The Alphabet Inc. unit, so Alphabet being Google, its steady expansion pace draws a sharp contrast with Tesla, which remains in test mode despite Elon Musk's continued claims of its autonomous tech prowess. And there are multiple videos online almost daily of FSD, Tesla's FSD, making mistakes still, seemingly basic mistakes, and I'll show you some of those mistakes. There's so many of them, I make these videos all the time, and there are new ones coming up all the time of errors where Tesla gets stuck or makes an error that seems like it should be past that by now. Why does Tesla full self-driving try to smash through parking lot barriers? Let's have a look at this. Tesla full self-driving version 13.2.9 will try to drive straight through a parking lot barrier. We repeated this three times and FSD failed to stop for the barrier on every run. Now I've shown videos about this before where it does seem to still have problems with barriers coming across the road, including those railway crossbars that come down and barriers like this across driveways. You'd think that they would have solved this by now. Is this something that LiDAR could have helped with? Remember, they don't have LiDAR, they don't have radar, just relying on cameras and AI, that combination. But seemingly still making these errors 10 years in now. Now, some of the details on the Waymo expansion here, it's launching commercial rides in Dallas in 2026. It already operates in Phoenix, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Austin, Atlanta, and previously said it would launch in Miami and Washington, D.C. next year as well. So come 2026, it's going to be in quite a few cities. And as I said, testing at the moment in Tokyo. So that's likely to be their first international place that they expand to and Tesla I see is testing FSD in different places and including in my part of the world Australia New Zealand now Waymo said Dallas is of interest as it thinks it can help road safety in the city with the highest traffic fatality rate among US cities with populations above 1 million people so it's a bold move going to a city with a high fatality rate at this point they think that they can make it actually safer, where that's arguable where the Tesla, you know, FSD or Robotaxis are doing that. Watch this Tesla FSD 13.2.9 stop at an intersection and change lanes, then attempt a dangerous right turn into oncoming traffic. This is silent, so I can talk over it, but here we go. Look at that. It's veering that way. 
not supposed to go down there and then it turns right into the oncoming lane look at that and presumably there's an intervention there to avoid that collision amazing that it still does that far from autonomous now, if you're getting value out of this episode so far, I would appreciate it. If you remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people, that really does help the creator. I, even I forget to do this when I like a video. Just forget to hit that button. It only takes a second, though. So the Alphabet CEO, Sundar Pichai, said the Waymo driver has now autonomously driven over 100 million miles on public roads. Now further to the expansion plans, they said along with Dallas, New York and Philadelphia, Waymo has confirmed that it's testing electric robotaxis in Houston, San Antonio, Miami, San Diego, Nashville, Washington, Boston and Tokyo. So seemingly to expand pretty quickly now. And it's because I've been doing all this testing and so many autonomous miles over years that they really are ready to start expanding. They know the drill. They know what to do. Tesla really still finding its feet and getting over those regulations. The safety monitor still in the passenger seat. Really early days. This is with a safety monitor who has to intervene here. Let's take a look. It's gone. Uh... <laughs> getting stuck okay. there. Right in the middle of the intersection. It chose to uh, make a, a left turn from... It pulled into the intersection and then saw a red light. I saw the red light and stopped. It stopped in the middle of the intersection and now it's stuck. And so support has to intervene. The safety monitor can't really do that much. Unless they're in the driver's seat, they can stop it, but they can't do anything else. We've seen that be a problem before. So these are the kind of things that are happening. And really taking the same path or a similar path with Waymo, except for that more limited technology that they have. So it remains to be seen whether they'll be able to expand. Where Elon Musk has said that he thinks that we'll get to 50% of the US population by the end of this year which virtually nobody believes, not even his most ardent fans. I guess some do, but it seems like a fanciful scenario. We'll have to see what happens. Now, this is interesting on the pricing. Differences in prices between Waymo, Uber and Lyft in price per kilometer. We can see that Waymo is more expensive. I wonder if that price will come down over time because they have no driver. Well, they have the software driver. Maybe with scale, that price will come down. But Definitely at the moment, still more expensive than having a human driver on those services. Now, as for the partnership with Avis, it says here, Avis will work with Waymo in Dallas to keep its robotaxis there charged up and cleaned at fleet depots and provide basic maintenance. So Avis is everywhere. If they partner with them in different cities, that's going to help way most surely because all that infrastructure is already in place. And we have more on that here. They say Avis will provide end-to-end -end fleet management services, including infrastructure, vehicle readiness, maintenance, and general depot operations. This is an exciting initial phase in Dallas, and we intend to expand to more cities together over time. So as I said, they Avis is pretty much everywhere. I mean, they are really are. So helping with infrastructure with those Waymo cars, that should help them expand quicker, you'd think. Now here we have some stats about Tesla FSD. Tesla FSD 13 missed even my low expectations despite being limited to HW4 after 76,137 miles logged in the community tracker. So this is a crowdsource tracker because Tesla doesn't release the data, is not transparent about that. FSD 13 completes only 96.9% of trips without a critical error. Robotaxi is just a distraction from Tesla's deteriorating fundamentals, talking about the financials of the company, and those were pretty bad. So you might think that 96.9% is pretty high, but remember, if you're sitting in the back seat and it happens to be a robotaxi, 
That is not enough. That is nowhere near enough, considering that these things do hundreds of miles a day. And there's info on that too, how many miles it's doing a day. So you do not want that to be 96.9. You want it to be close to 100, very, very close to 100. So these errors don't happen while you're riding in the car, relying on the autonomous driver to get you safely to your destination time after time after time, which Waymo has been able to do. And here's a little meme joke here, spy shots of Tesla's first unsupervised robo-taxi. You can see there's somebody disguised as a seat. Now here we have some info comparing Waymo to Tesla at the moment. Which is more scalable as the question? We have Waymo versus Tesla, miles driven per robo-taxi per day. So Tesla doesn't have many, I think there's still 11 in Austin, limited hours driven there and not in all weather conditions. So Waymo's doing 190 miles a day, that would be each Waymo, and Tesla's just doing 20 miles a day. I don't think you could see second place with a telescope, Elon Musk has said. Now look at this and see who might be in second place. Now, what do you think about this? Do you think that Waymo is able to scale? They seem to be scaling. Do you think that Tesla will pass them at some point because the technology can wake the fleet up and turn everything into a robo-taxi? Do you think that will actually happen? Or will Waymo autonomously scale from city to city like they are with plans next year to do more cities and then internationally who do you think will win this race? Is it even a race? It's hard to see that Tesla is in the lead at this point, but can they catch up over time? Let me know what you think. And right now I'm going to put a related video right there. Do go and see that now if you want to. And a subscribe link on screen. Do subscribe if you are new here and want to get notified of videos in the future. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.